Hello to my Geminis and happy new moon to you, Geminis. All right, Geminis, let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Happy new moon to you. The new moon in Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Venus, as is Libra, is ruled by Venus. Taurus is a Hierophant card. All right, let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Geminis. All right, Geminis. Hopefully, you all are setting your intentions. That could be something new that you're doing, the new you. We're going to have a full moon on uh, May 23rd in Sagittarius. It's going to be a flower moon. So let's see how you're blossoming, right? Don't forget that we're officially in a new moon. A new moon phase, right? A new moon phase. Happy new moon happy new you i've already prayed over your cards already asked most high god for complete and total clarity in every area of your lives let's get it let's see what's in your cards talking to you wherever gemini is in your birth chart wherever gemini is in your birth chart all right all right Source is saying somebody made it to their throne of emotional intelligence, right? We're talking about water. Here we also have the Eight of Cups here. We also have the King of Wands here. We have the Eight of Swords here. We have the Page of Cups here. You got some good news coming in. So that's right. You want to get it all out. Any kind of disappointment that you have about that last cycle, rose-colored glasses being removed, Anything that you may have been holding on to, you want to release it. Release it through tears, going to the gym, working out, whatever you need to do to release it, because everything is fine. Somebody was going to a point of just self-sabotaging. This moon in Taurus, you'll know if you landed on the light side of the moon in Taurus, if you're feeling a little bit more trustworthy, determined, warm, affectionate, and also artistic. In contrast, you feel you'll know that you landed on the dark side of the moon in Taurus, if you're feeling a little bit more possessive, rigid, overcautious, a slave to routine, right? A moon in Taurus for every sign gives every sign a, um, no matter what your sun sign is, a moon in Taurus gives you the endurance, a conservative outlook, a sensitive, sensual personality that needs love and security. So if you're feeling a little extra sensitive, like you need to just detox, Right, sometimes people detox by drinking more water since you poured out so much. You're waiting on some good news to come. Um, something that specifically that you prayed for, right? Keep in mind there's still a lot of energies that are watching Gemini and um just make sure you protect your water. So if that means that you just spending some, you know, you are just planning when you do things, you know, when you're planning on doing fun activities or whatever, maybe they are off times, off periods and things like that. You know, just to protect your water, make sure you do that, right? So what that looks like for some people is not being around large crowds. Like if you can look at it this way, it's like carrying a cup of water unopened, you know, around a large group of energies. You're not going to drink it afterwards, right? So you're doing everything you could possibly do to protect this new you, right? So yeah, let's see what else we got. King of Wands again. Here we have the Tower card, Page of Cups. Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and also the Ten of Swords. King of Wands came out twice. You're a hard-working person, obviously. And that's a work ethic that you want to pass down to your loved ones, right? You know, say so when they get stressed out, you know, to protect themselves, go into protection mode and maybe work, you know, work on something else while they're in protection mode. There's some energies that jump to some conclusions about you um that are going through a tower moment right now things are not going very well for them but it is going very well for you it's an upheaval that's happening here right um a destruction of the old you you know when you're a bit sensitive just um protecting your energy we also have the page of cups you are definitely heavy on a lot of people's minds you and somebody right so let me look at this we got the king of wands twice we also have the page of cups twice, right? So two pieces of good news you've been waiting on. So that's why source is saying, stay on your throne of your ideas. Continue motivating and inspiring as many people as you can while protecting yourselves because you got some good news coming in. So what you want to toss into the burning bowl is being connected to any kind of energies that are aggressive, 
they are impulsive energies that are they put all their energy towards trying to destroy manipulate people you want to get away from those types of energies as soon as you possibly can because eight of cups also came out twice too two types of situations in particular like i said have just been very disappointing for you unfortunately and when you look at the car sources say you don't have to spend a whole lot of time on it here we have the four of cups here you don't have to spend, I mean, four of pentacles, excuse me, you have to spend a whole lot of time. As a matter of fact, the more conservative you are with your time and just the disappointment that you're leaving behind, um, the better off you'll be, you know? So it could, you could have had some major disappointments in your life, but source is saying, this is where you want to get it out, right? It's two types of situations that turn, and they're deep, you know, that turn your smile into a frown. And something could have started between the ages of 8 years old and 14 years old. And then, you know, other disappointments. And that's why Source is saying everything is fine. That could have caused you to self-sabotage, you know, and just emotionally self-sabotage, right? Here we also have the Ten of Swords. But you survived all of that. These are the same cards here. You survived all of that. So you were here at one point. Source is saying everything is fine. Get up. Get some fresh air. Get out the house. Get some fresh air. Don't sabotage yourself by just sitting around in a puddle of, of tears or sadness or whatever somebody could be going through right now. This is the year of wealth, right? And so you have to decide what you want to become wealthy or in. Someone is very, very creative, right? It's not all creativity. is not just about you could have come from a great big family. That's also creativity because somebody procreated that, right? <laughs> right? With source. Um, um, maybe watching a movie, you know, around this time will invoke some tears, you know, so that you can get some things out of you. But you're also, you're releasing things so that you can now be more sensitive to the other things that people are doing. Remember, Pluto is retrograde, and I feel like there's some energies that are very obsessed with you in any way, shape, form, or fashion, trying to manipulate as many people as possible. So let's see what that looks like. So as you're releasing one thing that's disappointing for you, um, well, two things, two types of things that have turned your smile into a frown, you're not missing the deep manipulation of people who are obsessed with you either, okay? So you got to make room. Let's see what people are doing. Okay, all right. You're dealing with an energy, you're dealing possibly with an earth sign where for them it's their way or the highway, right? They're on the dark side of the number four. They're trying to manipulate as many people as possible to come up against you in whatever way possible, right? Um, earth signs, uh, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, somebody is somebody is working with some energies. That's why we see the King of um, Wands twice here. Some people are working very, very hard to manipulate other people as it relates to you. And like I said, people are definitely watching. That's why I'm saying you don't want to be so backed up in terms of, you know, like crying is very healthy. Going to the gym to sweat things out is very healthy. Don't sit around holding things in. Even if you got to watch a movie or something that's going to invoke a lot of laughter, like you're crying until you, and you're laughing until you're crying, right? But you need to get something out, need to flush it out. So if you've been feeling kind of like backed up, maybe like you got to use the bathroom or something like that, you could be still holding on to a lot of things where it's kind of confusing for you. We're in a new moon phase. And like I said, there's a lot of energies that are not ready to let some things go. They feel like um, they feel like it's their way or the highway. You're dealing with some energies that are disorganized. They're inflexible. They're really, really stuck. Like they have a cold heart towards you, right? And um, they're manipulating as many people as they can possibly manipulate as it relates to you. So you're going to have to get some things out so that you can have some clarity of thought here. Yeah. Yeah, um, you're definitely on your throne when it comes to your personal and your professional life. Um, so there's no doubt about that. Here we have the hangman. Here we have the death card. Here we have the strength card, the ten of pentacles, the temperance card, and then also the devil card. Yeah, so there's some energies. Here we have the hang one, right? So source is saying, hang in there with yourselves. You know, this is not the time to go into escapism at all. There, these are some energies. Here's the death card, right? So the death card connects us to um, death of the old, birth of the new, some kind of end and loss. 
there's some energies that fear change and they are obsessed they don't want to change how they are they feel like and it is disappointing that's why i want you to not hold on to whatever it is you disappointed from in your childhood or you know other things that's going on around you that has you distracted emotionally sources said i need you to go in and go with sources flow so that source can show you who is holding on to some things right so that you can master spirit matters and also heal yourself this is your strength you're healing yourselves right and then also the temperance card you desire you desire harmony and resolution of conflict and there's some energies that are straight up out of balance right so you do have a loved one on the other side that is helping you with this they help you to just stay strong right and to stay focused and to stay on your in your purpose right here we have the ten of pentacles right and I feel like you have a loved one on the other side that's just talking about, they're talking about the loyalty, the word loyalty when it comes to family. Your definition could be significantly different than other people's definition of loyalty when it comes to family. Some people believe that you stay in family situations being manipulated around energy vampires until no end, right? Some people say, mm-mm. Nope, you got other stuff that you could do because all of that is in the water. That's in a sacral chakra, right? Here's a devil card. There's some energies who are enslaved to some kind of obsession, lustful energy, restrictions. And so source is saying to you, stay away as far as you possibly can. I feel like some of you all have several types of energies that are lusting after you incubus succubus energies that's not ready to let you go and you're going to see a lot of that in a lot of people's readings during pluto retrograde because pluto is the death rebirth uh planet it's the it's the farthermost planet right so i need you to be i need you to pay attention to the messages that's coming through i don't need you to like be so I'm, i've got to keep going 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 and that i don't see anything right so sources and you got some master manipulators who are hard at work, you know, you could be a hard working person, you know, trying to get things done, but they are equally hard at work and trying to, um, trying to manipulate other people around you, um, about you in some way, shape, form or fashion. Um, and so sources say you don't have to give it a whole lot of time. Thank God for that tower card out there. Some kind of upheaval has happened because while you may have walked away from some kind of disappointment in them, these energies they can't move on from disappointment. So they'll do anything, right? And so anything that they feel like, speaking of water, these energies are in, they, okay. The tower card is all about energy, right? It's all about this fighting spirit. It's all about, because um, it connects us to Mars the planet of action and assertion you're dealing with very aggressive energies right so source is saying you're going to have to assert yourselves and stay in your light stay in your purpose protect your water protect your energy right and learn the lesson that when people show you that they don't appreciate you it doesn't matter how minute it is pay attention the first time don't go into just going along with their flow well you know maybe they're having a bad day in certain instances, some of the reason why, part of the reason why, because some kind of reputation has been developed here that you just kind of go along with the flow. Some kind of reputation has been built about you that you just kind of go along with the flow. And energies, like I said, they're doing everything they possibly can. Some energies want to see you in jail. They want to see you in handcuffs. They want to see you, I mean, they want to see the worst to happen to you. So they're going into straight up manipulation into whoever they can manipulate. Here we have the princes of pentacles. Yeah. Some people feels like, feel like your life is too good. And like, uh, how can I say this? You know how people are jealous. This is a very jealous incubus, succubus spirit. They're very passionate about, you know, um, you know what they're up to. So if they feel like they've had to go through some things it's just like i said a very obsessed energy there's somebody that you could have met before some kind of you know somebody you know i'm trying to think is there's a there's plenty of movies about people who become obsessed you could have had an encounter with them could have talked to them whatever but they're just obsessed because in their mind they feel like you're judging them for something they've gone through in the past and they also like they're making it their mission 
to make sure you go through what they went through, almost like to knock you down a peg or two. It's not going to happen. It's actually backfiring on them. And so, like I said, just continue moving forward. Here we also have the Eight of Cups here. Yeah. So as disappointing as something is, you know, for them to walk away from disappointment, here we have the Three of Cups here. You're in celebratory mode, right? You're in celebratory mode. And so Source is saying, protect your pearls. Somebody had to learn a lesson is that just some people are just not, I mean, telling you, some people, you can't just be kind to them without them taking it to the next level. There's some friendships, you just can't be kind to them. You can't, you know, invite them to your house. You can't be, you know, well, you can be a kind hearted person, but you also want to tap into your emotions, your intuition about some things too. But sometimes it is very subtle. Sometimes it's very subtle. Everything is lining up for you perfectly. I feel like somebody is relocating. I feel like somebody is relocating. Everything is lining up for you purposely, uh, perp um, um, perfectly, excuse me. So adjust your crown. See this crab right here? When crabs feel like, and this is aligning with your emotions, when crabs feel like, you know, they're, they're the eye connecting us to cancer, the I feel sign, right? Source is saying, when you start feeling something like your diet is off or you feel like you're constipated, or you feel like there's some kind of blockage or your skin is itching, whatever it is you feel, if you feel like you're in spaces where you don't feel safe or let's say you feel like you need some more rest, the, the key word is feel, right? When you feel something, that's the time for you to talk directly to source, right? And say, okay, something feels off about something. Right now, if you are flushing out your system on a regular basis, listening to water sounds, drinking a lot of water, doing your juice fast, those kind of things. Something should feel like for you, one, victorious. Like, okay, I feel protected, right? This is the tower card. You feel protected, right? You feel stronger. You feel like the chains of your uh, fear and doubt or whatever your demons were are broken. Some people, for them, it's so, um, it literally feels like a death. They still on the death side instead of on the rebirth side of them trying to break their chain. They don't know the difference between a karmic and a twin flame relationship at all, right? So they don't know the difference between a negative cycle and a positive cycle. So these are the energies that Source is putting you around. Very positive energies, right? Very, very positive energies, right? Like I said, they're in the four cups in reverse you're in the four cups upright like you're waiting around and for them they're saying okay i'm not waiting around it's my way or the highway so you have to say to yourself i'm not waiting around for the, to see how the tower falls on anybody i need to continue moving forward as you're in celebratory mode right so yeah queen of cups the knight of cups i feel like somebody needs to change their passwords I feel like somebody needs to change their passwords. You're dealing with, you really dealing with some energies. You've learned how to save yourself, but you're dealing with some very meticulously, um, very um, manipulative energies who like to, if it's their way or the highway. So I don't know who that's for, but somebody needs to change their passwords. If you've been getting any kind of updates or like your credit card companies or whatever are saying to you, you know, someone changed your password or did you change your password or whatever, it's because there are some energies that for them, they cannot deal with the fact that a karmic cycle has been broken, right? And it's going to continue. Karmic cycles all year are going to be broken because this is a year of eight. Eight is the number for karma, right? And so all negative cycles are being broken, whether people want it to be broken or not. You have two guardian angels that's watching over you and protecting you, giving you an opportunity to move forward, right? Move on, to move on from the past. Yeah, so Source definitely wants you to be hopeful, to be blissful, to be optimistic about leaving the past behind. Again, you're not giving these energies. As long as you're operating in your purpose, this is your sunlight, right? Operating in your purpose and moving forward. Operating in your purpose, moving forward, right? Yeah, um, and just hanging in there with yourselves. Hanging in there with yourselves. Some energies, they want the, they want everything to revolve around them. And so um, they'll manipulate anybody. They'll manipulate people out of money, out of position, out of whatever they can get. They've learned how to manipulate people very early on in their lives. 
between the ages of eight years old and 14, and you're a major challenge for them. Here's this eight, uh, six of wands, and here you are victorious. Yep. Here we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah. So not only do I see you, um, I see, I see you being, this is harvest time for you. So I see somebody possibly relocating, but I see you planting some new seeds that's growing too. Source is making sure to put you around enough creative energies, like really just uh, flushing out all those toxic relationships and putting new energies around you. And these are these are who Source is sitting, putting around you to cover you, just so you know. Just so you know. Because a lot of people, when, when they feel like, okay, gosh, friendships are you know, going down the drain and things are being exposed. And this kind of, a lot of times people feel like they're by themselves. And just so you know, you're not by yourself. You have two guardian angels that's watching over you, protecting you, you know, from any, from any dark entities that's trying to, you know, come up against you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Yeah. So yeah, you're dealing with some master manipulative energies who are trying to some way get into your life in some way shape form or fashion they know you add value to the world that's right they know that you add value to the world so you have to know that you add value to the world so you're going to have to really focus on self-love and leaving those types of energies behind you know without some kind of major like i said you're dealing with you're dealing with people who are also highly intuitive they tapped into their intuition you're also highly intuitive, but you're also like being guided by, you know, your um, ancestors. So let me be open to courageously taking the steps that are shown. That's right. There can't be any fear at all. Fear is an emotion. There can't be any fear, doubt, uncertainty. That's why you got the devil part of your major arcana. There can't be any fear of being connected to healthy relationships right so you're not pouring everything somebody is so used to being around energy vampires that you automatically pour everything all you got into every relationship you go into a job you're taking it to the max you're going into a new friendship taking it to the max love relationships taking it to the max and if you do all of that up front people who are out of balance emotionally out of balance they take that as oh somebody's gonna pour into me and they're still connected to energy vampires themselves and it just puts you in a very it puts you in a, a, a precarious position of being you know in another situation where you're dealing with energy vampires that could become obsessed a matter of fact during pluto retrograde it went retrograde may 2nd hopefully you hear me loud and clear gemini's don't get into overdoing any relationships during Pluto retrograde because it is also not only the metamorphosis planet, death, rebirth, um, power transformation. It's also the planet of obsessions. So you don't want to attract obsessive spirits. So self-worship, 37. My hands fold as I speak to the stars, watching as the sky holds its breath. It's in the stillness that I find all that I am and all of divinity within me. That's right. You're going to have to go into loving yourselves that deep. You can't feel like, okay, I'm having some kind of a love drought or I don't have any friends around me right now. And I don't have, you know, um, you don't want any obsessive energy because somebody is so creative that you're actually creating a life that's going to bring a lot of legacy wealth to you. In other words, you want to start moving like a celebrity in, in a sense, right? Because you're so highly creative. You have so many gifts and talents that you can't give your water to just everybody that comes along. Even if you're a person that's just like, okay, you like to have fun, you like to dance, like to have a great time. You can't, you almost have to balance it out with not necessarily being the center of attention because you allowed all of this is how you attracted energy vampires. Like I said, you're going to have to start moving like a star <laughs> and leave that past kind of behavior behind. I got to pour into everybody, you know, and, um, some people, they just take stuff just too far, but a new start is coming and it's actually already here because this is new moon phase. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close it out. Let me give you the questions for the moon and Taurus. For those of you all who like the questions, let me give you the questions for the moon and Taurus. 
First question is, how often do you feel true pleasure? The uh, moon in Taurus, Texas, helps us with just like how our bodies feel. Like what feels good? Do you feel like getting out dancing? Do you feel like you need to take a rest? You know, do you feel sad? Like it really connects us with like helping us to connect with our bodies, right? Um, and so somebody may be ready to date. Somebody may be ready to, you know, be in a relationship, but be very careful. Be very, very careful. Um because again you all are mutable signs and you can feel one way one minute the next minute you can feel like nah i'm not ready that's a I, mm -mm. and they could attract a very um very toxic spirit second question is do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure third question is where are the energy blockages the places of tension located in your body and then last but not least is oh i'm sorry four is can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others and then last but not least is what does your body need what does your body need you're gonna have to let um the tower moment handle this because otherwise there's too much at stake for you to lose Source is trying to get you to create a lot of multi, like multiple streams of income, like trying to create jobs and opportunities for other people. You're going to have to move differently because other people will try to stop that. It's, it's almost like, a, like energies are saying, if I can't have Gemini, no one else will. And you can take that however you want to take it. But if you're trying to create jobs, opportunities for other people, you're trying to create a new life, trying to create friendships and new love interests. What a space for new love interest or whatever it is you're trying to create. We're talking about water here. There's some energies from your past who are flat out obsessed, you know, with you not creating something unless they can control it. Remember, water, we did all this water here, this is creativity and all of that is shaped and is shaped and guided by the earth that surrounds it. So that's why I see somebody, you know, being very careful about sharing where you live, just be just moving differently. I, that's why I see you just moving differently, right? So, but not moving with fear. They met their match. Yeah, somebody met their match. Somebody honestly they thought, like I said before, they thought and the spy is now turned on. You have the gift of clairvoyance. You see things clearly, right? So, let me so let me give somebody an example because there's so much water here. Let's say somebody was flirting with you and trying to come on to you, right? The exchange of bodily fluids. That's also sacral chakra, right? Sexuality, sensuality. You were able to see immediately that somebody was an incubus or a succubus spirit. Instantly, you were able to see it. Whether you physically saw it, talked to them over the phone, saw pictures, whatever it was, but they met their match. And so now for them in their mind, because they're out of balance, they see it as a challenge, just flat out obsessed. They're turned on by the, the, the fact that you're a hardworking person. They're turned on by the fact that people hold you in such high regard. They're turned on at just how creative you are. They're turned on by just how smart you are. But the difference is, is that they want to bring you down a peg or two. So if they've gone through some things in their lives, Gemini, I need y'all to hear me, that they feel like you haven't gone through that will put y'all on the same frequency. This is the sickness of it all. Then, okay, I got to do something to bring them down a peg or two so they'll know exactly, you know, how for now I feel like I got them. In their mind, unfortunately, in their mind, um, you're, you're just, you're dealing with a very narcissistic, I mean, just very, very narcissistic type of energy. So like I said, just leave it behind. Uh, God has you covered. You don't even have to worry about it. I'm just letting y'all know. Root chakra cleanse. Sacral chakra cleanse, always bet on you. Throat chakra cleanse, crown chakra cleanse, solar plexus chakra cleanse. Like I said, they have a crush on you. Yeah, it's time to open your vault door. Yep, there are signs all around you. Signs all is like, you know, like sacral geometry. <laughs> like there's signs all around, signs, shapes, colors, smells, all of that all around. It's, it's just too much going on for somebody not to see. That's why we're starting out with water because Source needs you to do a deep spiritual cleanse. This new you for these seven days, you need to be doing a deep, um, um, actually we like three days in, three days out. So three days prior to this, the seventh, and then three days out, spiritual cleanse. Drink as much, you know, as much water as your doctor said you can drink. You know, do your cleansing, whatever cleansing you're doing, whatever, whatever you do to cleanse, I'll just put it that way. 
this is a general reading so whatever you need to do to cleanse so that you don't miss it so that your waters are not murky you're holding on to something and then going into escapism so it says it needs you to go into escapism right or uh self-deception right sources that need you to go into self-deception right source needs you to be you know um recognizing that there's some energies that are dead set on believing that y'all should still be friends whether it's platonic or romantic they are dead set on belief they just dead set on believing that you got away whether it's in a in their mind it's a loving one oh they the one that got away i gotta do my best to get them back into my life or they feel like you are venomous snake and you got away with something in either case be grateful that the past is over source is protecting you and here we have 23 i am adventurous you have a zest for life and you're eager to experience any and everything possible you love change and excitement and you need both to truly feel alive for you life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest yeah these energies they are not above these are the type of energies the reason why it's coming to me that somebody needs to change their passwords um credit card account passwords email address passwords this kind of stuff because for these energies they must be in positions they must be in some kind of positions where they have access to these things they must know how to sex their way into things or manipulate people in some way shape form, or fashion and you don't want to let that go because again if they feel like oh all they have to do is be in somebody's presence to manipulate them in some kind of way just to get to your information just to get to you they don't care about going to jail <laughs> they don't care about none of that so source is saying to you you have to care first of all you're divinely protected and things are falling are falling apart around them so the more obsessed they become to you the worse things are getting for them some of them are already under some kind of investigation as it is right now but they can't it's like they're obsessed they can't stop themselves that's why all hell is breaking loose and so sources saying hang in there with yourselves you're divinely protected whatever plans you had going on to create a, a, to create whatever life you want to create create space for new love create space for a home create space for a new project whatever you're trying to create so it's to say you're going to have to move like a star remain hopeful remain blissful optimistic and be careful about protecting your water because there's some energies out here they sitting there listening to every little thing that you say everything that you say protect your energy all right let's see what else we got going on here um do 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 hopefully those questions were helpful for somebody hopefully those questions were helpful you know to yeah yeah you know, i mean really you don't have anything to worry about and i'm not telling you this for anybody to be paranoid in any way shape from a fashion i'm just telling you just so you know you got eyes on you watching you in your personal and your professional life and a lot of people are inspired and motivated by you but at the same time because somebody is so funny somebody is so down to earth someone so likable you actually attract a lot of energy vampires because you're so creative and so whether you read cards whether you you know read tea leaves or maybe you're a psychic or medium or all the clairs whatever it is deja vu you're so highly gifted maybe you're a singer a dancer a makeup artist whatever it is a, a chef whatever it is that you're created for yourself people are drawn to that energy and it's going to make you very very wealthy but at the same time source is saying to you don't give it a whole lot of time when source tells you to get away from certain energies don't sit there but well, why are they acting like that what's wrong i was just trying to make everybody happy i'm just in good spirits because some people are just they going through such toxic situations right now they like i said energy vampires don't wait until it turns into a venomous snake everything doesn't deserve a a you know a, a, a verbal response somebody's gonna have to really learn how to move in silence that's your action that's your response i'm moving in silence strength all obstacles of my path are being cleared i am stronger than yesterday i am brave i am courageous i learn from my mistakes failure is a farce all effort is testing i rise above all that stands in my way improvement is my only concern sometimes you don't know that you've come in contact with someone who is a master manipulator a master energy vampire until after you know something happens it could have been I'm trying to think it's so many movies that's going through my mind right now um about like how somebody may have one encounter 
it, it, it's not even it's not always even sexual encounter it's like what's the one movie is like single white female one is single black female there's just too many movies to name and and those are people think they're just movies but they're based on real life experiences that's why these people are drawing these things from right they're taking several situations like you could have a you could have a friend that you feel like, okay, I'm going to invite this friend to my house. It's strictly platonic. You know, I just bought a home and I'm going to just invite them. And you, in your mind, some of your family members are obsessed. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a, home, a housewarming party and I'm going to invite my family over because, you know, just to inspire them, to let them know if I can do it. We all came from the same family. They can do it too as far as your business is concerned. But some of these same energies you'll look too happy around them. So they feel like, okay, you're judging them. And you know they're making it up in their mind because nothing in your mouth or your energy says you're harshly judging them. They just feel like they need to knock you down a peg or two. And and just so somebody knows, whoever it is, you know, knock you down a peg or two, but they want to be the one to pour into you to say they were there to be the one to pick you up when you fell down, when they're the one that's trying to push you off the ledge and act like they were the one that saved you. Source is saying, listen, let source remove all the rose colored glasses continue because that was the last we had the pink moon, the last uh, phase. Let source remove those rose colored glasses from your eyes. <laughs> Devil energy is very crafty. A lot of people are like, oh, I can handle them. Oh, oh, I I can handle them. No, I mean, that's not a problem at all. Yeah. OK. The devil is crafty for a reason. And source created the devil because that's for source created the devil you know, to see if you say you're going to go to the next level, then you're going to have to really tap all the way in. Speaking of water, you're going to have to tap into the living water. When you get scared, tap into the living water. When you're angry, happy, you know, filled with glee, you know, don't want to get out of the bed, whatever that emotion is, you're going to have to know how to tap into that in, that water. So don't forget to pull your full birth chart. We do have links for a full birth chart. Also, don't forget to pull your Chiron, all of that. With all this you pour out, you want to make sure to... The cracks in your foundation are secure as well so that something couldn't just seep in where you just feel like, okay, you're just leaving some things behind and you just feel guilty or sad or angry or a little bit too excited or, you know, a little bit too happy. Whatever it is, you want to balance it out. That's what I have for you. Hopefully those questions have helped you. I will see you all in the next reading. Bye.